India has sent its latest satellite into orbit, taking one more step towards building its own navigation system and reducing its reliance on GPS. It's the third of seven planned launches that have been hailed as a breakthrough in the national space program. And last month, India also joined the elite club of states that have sent probes to Mars, achieving the feat on its first attempt. In fact, the Mars journey, sending a probe around the Red Planet, had a relatively modest price tag of just $74 million. That is 11% of the cost of a similar American mission launched two days before. And Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi pointed out that the total actually, uh, well, it was less than the cost of a typical Hollywood movie. And science writer Eric Berger says India's space achievements are actually of truly significant importance. You look back at the Russian space program, and certainly American space program with the Apollo moon landings, that really inspired a generation to, to go into science and mathematics in this country. And I think you could have the same effect on India to really sort of inspire its younger people to get more interested in science and technology. So while the mission did have some costs, there are definitely benefits to society in terms of a government trying to do great things. I think you will see other countries try to go into space uh, for the simple reason is um, one of the ways to gain credibility on the international stage is to have a space program and to be seen doing great things like putting a spacecraft in the orbit around Mars. Um, it brings a lot of national pride and a lot of national prestige. And it's one way a country um, with perhaps a bit lower profile in the international scene can, can have a larger profile and, and become more visible and be seen as more successful. It's certainly a good status symbol. India has successfully put a satellite into orbit around Mars. Despite costing just a tenth of a similar NASA project, scientists have described the mission as flawless. The satellite has launched India into a small club of elite space travellers. Making it to Mars is a huge achievement for any space agency. And by putting a probe into orbit, the Indians have become part of an elite group of explorers. Not only that, they've also created the world's first no-thrills, low-cost space agency. The Prime Minister went on to proudly boast that the film Gravity costs more to make than this mission. History has been created today. We have dared to reach out into the unknown and have achieved the near impossible. In its closest orbit, Mars is almost 35 million miles away, but the Mangalyan probe travelled more than 420 million miles to align with the red planet. It took 300 days but cost just 45 million pounds. Compare that to NASA's latest mission to put a probe in orbit, which cost 409 million pounds. The Mars Atmosphere and Volatile Evolution Mission, MAVEN, will go to work in orbit. On Monday, MAVEN also successfully reached Mars from recent trips to the Red Planet. Its mission is to study the atmosphere of the planet, to build a better understanding of current and past climate conditions. NASA and the Indian Space Research Organization are likely to share data, as Mangalyan is on a similar mission. And another famous NASA explorer, the Curiosity rover, welcomed India's probe to Mars this morning via Twitter, to which it responded, Howdy, Mars Curiosity. Keep in touch. I'll be around. Some have criticised the money that the Indian government spends on its space programme, when so many of its 1.2 billion people are poor. The UK still gives the country hundreds of millions of pounds in aid every year. But Delhi argues that success in space will boost India's space industry and make money in the long run. Joe Tidy, Sky News.